Vince has done it. After fighting his way across New Orleans, battling dinosaur bones, a two-headed alligator, the living statue, Dolly, and Hurricane Hannah. Vince has finally made it to the Carnival de Pre, where Madame Charmaine has been taken by Cosmo and his henchmen. But Vince still has to find a way to get into the Big Top for the final face-off against Cosmo and to rescue Madame Charmaine. With everything he has learned on his quest, will Vince stand a chance against Cosmo? Find out today! It's time to strike. Cosmo, get ready to feel Vince's pain. Hurry, you idiot! He's almost here! Well, I don't know, boss. He's real tiny. Can't we just kick him or something? He's small, yes, but he has uncanny powers. I can't believe he beat that hurricane! <laughs> Boss, ain't you, you know, disembodied? Oh, yeah! Oh, the pain! You two, get this thing to the big top! Everything must be ready when Madame Charmaine's little friend arrives! Okay, so this is the last episode of Voodoo Vince, and... I'm just going to smash through everything because I've already recorded this once before and now I have to do it all over again because my computer decided to crash after I'd edited the episode and it just it just got it corrupted the files and it was great I loved it uh, so what we have to do here we have to collect five tokens to open event to open a gate to drop a big heavy weight on top of one of those bell ringing games to break a window to move on to the next section. So let's get on with that. Uh, uh, voodoo power. I wonder if that'd actually work. Who knows? But there is the first token. So let's go and pick that up. Pick up. And now let's make our way over to the fortune teller lady. In goes the coin. And now we wait for our fortune. A single coin you found is true, but four more coins I ask of you. So let's go find those four more coins. Ooh, that took way too long to get that fucking coin. Oops, that was a swear, I'm sorry. Let's put this into the machine and get our next one. A count of two is in your score. Step lively now and find three more. We will do exactly that. Do not open the trailer. So I opened the trailer. <laughs> Ah, oh, there's still one frog fly thing in the flat in the trailer. I'm gonna have to punch him. I have an achievement. All those beads. Ha! <laughs> coin three. Into the coin hole.
My fortune grows. I now have three. Just two more coins. I didn't get the rest. Time to go and get the last two coins. The last two coins. The last two coins. Two gators. Just, um, voodoo power them. You have been defeated! And I now have the fourth coin. Let's go get our fortune. Goes the coin. Four pretty coins, you're almost done. Now go and find the final one. Okay, we shall go find the final one. We found the final one. The final one. We found the final one. And now let's go get our final uh, fortune. After I get the zombie dust bags from this little bit over here. Coin goes in. And now we get a different camera angle. And that vent on top of the thing will open. Yay! And now we take this bowling ball and put it down a well to open the gate. So we can go and get this weight right here to go and put right on this bit to ring the bell. And now I can move on to the next level. large circus tent, but you will need to be high in the air to reach it. Find the generators and bring this derelict carnival to life. Sorry, there is only two generators I need to get. One in the mirror house just in front of me, and one on a really shitty uh, roller coaster ride. Let's get to it. Hey, a house of mirrors, where ordinary people can be as good looking as me. Vince is a funny man. Okay, so we have lots of platforms that move, so I'm going to die a lot. And I believe we have lots of different pathways for this level. So it's going to be difficult to try and collect everything. I'm probably going to end up going around in circles for a very long time. So... Let's skip all that boringness of me being lost and go straight to So the obligatory evil twin. You will be defeated, evil twin. Even if I don't remember how to do it. Do I use a voodoo power on him or do I just punch him? That took an embarrassing amount of time to figure out that I'd just have to wait for his little glowy bit to go and then just punch him. And one more. Sorry, pal. There just isn't room in the world for two handsome devils like us. Goodbye, strangely grossly inside bits, Vince. Now pull the switch. Activate the generators. And things will be moving. Or lights will be on. I don't remember which one. At least the lights are on now. 
Well, there we go. That was done. I'm gonna go find the rest of the um, zombie dust bags that I missed, and then we'll go straight to the house of scary stuff. Okay, so I'm right near the end of this bit. It's very, very loud. And it's been absolutely terrible. You can see I only have one zombie dog bass left. Zombie bag, zombie dust bag left. But it's the end, so I don't have to worry about it anymore. That was honestly one of the worst sections of the game. Cool. Time to go for a ride. But first, before we do that, Vince, we have to go and find the last of the collectibles. <laughs> there it is. I just gotta get this skull. I know I've collected everything in the game. And then we can move on to the final boss. Uh, get it, Vince! Ooh, 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 ooh. Das! There it is. I have all of everything in this game. Now let's go get into that big top. With this motorcycle. Go, Bins! The bumper car bump off. box the best you can do? No. I have something a lot more impressive in mind. Behold! The Cosmo Box!
Nice to see you're in one piece. Yes. Next time, perhaps, you can get me out of the robot before you destroy it. Next time? This isn't over yet, Charmaine. That's Madame Charmaine, you ignoramus. I have one last bit of zombie dust. I still possess the power supreme. Behold! <laughs> Stop that! Silly man! So you're the big wizard. How would you like to see some real magic? Real magic? Boss, I, I think she's kind of mad. She's bluffing! She has no powers! The zombie dust is all gone! It's true. I have no dust. But Vince does. I borrow some. Sure thing, boss. I always knew he was an airhead. What, what happened? Why do you guys look so funny? We're balloons. Then? Now this will be fun. What? How? How are you? Now, let's go home. Sounds good. Say, boss, I'm curious. If you're so powerful, why do we live in that rundown old hovel? Why not conjure up a mansion or a private yacht? It doesn't work like that. Didn't you learn anything from all this? I just know that somebody gets their own room while I sleep in a desk. That's just how things are, Vince. I'd also like to bring up the potentially touchy subject of my other eye. Granted, I realize this isn't as important to some people as it is to me, but when you get into the area of depth perception, it's just a little... Ah, uh, what an amazing game. It's finished now, and so is this series. I'm probably going to take a couple weeks off to decide what I'm going to do next. We'll see what happens. There might be some little bits and pieces in between. But as for series Let's Play, that's it for now. Uh, like, follow, subscribe, all of that fun stuff. Be sure to check out the Discord server. There's no one really on it at the moment. But it'd be nice to see more people get there. Uh, you can even show off your videos. Anyway, guys. That's it for me. I'm signing off for now, and I shall see you all in the next video. He jumped out of some wacky magic brew, and that's not all. Things are getting so strange since he came round. A hoodoo brawl. There's a mystery taking over town. He's just a little fella made of burlap and thread. He looks a little funny with those pins in his head. His cause and effect isn't really correct, but he still fills the bad guys with dread. Vince, the voodoo doll. You're gonna feel full when he has lunch. A voodoo doll. You're gonna feel bad when he goes crunch against the wall. And if he should slip, you're gonna take a voodoo fall. He's a hero who's just ten inches tall. Vince the Voodoo Doll.